Yes. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This week's theme was desserts. Although there are going to be only two episodes on that. I hope you guys enjoyed the other one. But today is um, the final dessert series. And I wanted to conclude it with fondue. Chocolate fondue this time, no cheese fondue, but chocolate fondue. Um, I have chocolate on the side, getting ready, and I have some churros, dropped fresh strawberries, my ch little cheesecake that's melting already, and this is just like chocolate chip, and this is Korean rice cakes, it's sweet rice cakes. And I have some mochi ice cream that's in the refrigerator right now, or freezer right now, because I don't want it to melt. I am going to light up this little cute grill with let me just get some fire so once Tong, you know Tong's trying to quit smoking right whenever you know when he was smoking I couldn't like tell him enough to put away his lighter but now he's trying to quit I can't find it anywhere like the day I really needed the lighter to light up these candles I can't find it oh no where are they come on Okay, put it down here. Let's put this little cute pot. I think these pots are meant for fondues, but let's let it sit and warm up a little bit. And let's get some chocolate. All right, are you guys ready for this? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Look at all this chocolate. Look at all this chocolate. Chocolate. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of chocolate. So before it's too late, I might have to eat my mochi, ice cream mochi because my refrigerator, it, my freezer is really, really crappy. And so it doesn't freeze that well. So they're not, my ice creams are always super soft and I want them really hard. <laughs> But you know, my freezer is not that cold. So, okay, maybe I can't eat the mochi. Look at that, look how, that is terrible. It's gonna ruin my chocolate if I eat it like this. You know? No, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, man. <gasps> mm. Oh my god, it's so cold. I mean, I know it's ice cream, but let's try the cheesecake. Oh my god, everything is just melting. Jeez. Okay, what's that? Mm. Oh my god. So chocolatey. <gasps> my str oh, okay. Well, there goes my strawberry. I made way too much chocolate. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think I should eat this. Let's put this on the side and see if they will kind of um, just a little bit that much. Man, chocolate and strawberry, it's so weird how they, how well they go together, you know? I'm gonna put that right there. Mmm. I know you guys are waiting for this. Churro. Mmm. Oh my god, this is so good. Mmm. I know my ice cream is ruined. Ugh. A little bit. Oh, that is so chocolatey. Mm. 
Oh yeah, this there's, there's this one question that I really wanted to answer because that it was kind of funny. Chris Halala Eleven asked me, "What if you caught your boyfriend cheating on you? What will you do?" I love your videos, by the way. Thank you, Chris. What would I do? What would Kimmy do? I don't. What would I do? Okay, let's think about this. What would you guys do? Let's all think about this. I don't even think this needs chocolate, but that would chocolate. Mm, so good. I think I like the churros the best. I still think about this. Alright, okay, here's a scenario. Let's, you tell your boyfriend, Hey, I'm gonna hang out with my girlfriends tonight, you know, so... I won't be home until, like, midnight. I won't be home until late. Your boyfriends are cool. I'll just hang around at home. Play some video games. Okay, so yeah, I'll just be back later. So your boyfriend is staying home playing video games and you are out with your friends. Or so he thought. You go out and one of your friends shows up and be like, hey, let's just like eat some food and just head home. And it's like what, nine o'clock. You go home and your boyfriend is hooking out with this girl and you, on your couch watching your TV. What will Kimmy do? I literally think, I think literally, my heart would drop. Like, li like, what the hell? Like, who do you think you are? Cheating on me in my house, on my couch. This is like bubbling up, it's kinda cool. Mmm. That is so chocolatey. Did you guys think about it? What did you do? I think. I would ask the girl, do you know? Actually, I probably have no, like, I probably can't think that that moment. Who is this? Who is this bitch? No, actually, I wouldn't say that. Like, if she didn't know, what if she didn't know that he was dating? Maybe he lied to her. Yeah, like, just come over, just come over to my place. If the girl knew, I will expose her on YouTube. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> I will start filming. I have my phone now. Oh my god, guys, look what I did. What's, look what's happening. Don't shooting at me. If you ever see her in the street, jump her. That's what I'll do. And the churros is so good. Honestly, I don't know what I would do at the moment. But for sure, I would just, like, I'm not even gonna. Maybe I'll ask why you do it. And I hear why he did. And how long it's been going on. Just stuff that I feel like I should know.
But I will not forgive him. Yeah, I will not even look back. I will. It's done. That relationship is done. It's clean. I have no, not even a little bit of that sympathy or a little bit of forgiveness in my heart. I will not forgive you for the rest of my life. I will not stay friends with you. I would, maybe I'll forget about it in the long run. But I would just, I don't think I will ever forgive you. Like, I, like, especially if Tong cheated on me, I will not forgive him. Because I trust him so much to the, to the point where that if he cheats on me, I would never trust anybody ever again. I don't think, as far as I know, I don't think any of my exes cheated on me before. But, I mean, they lied to me a couple times. Uh, one of them went to a club without telling me like i never knew that he ever went to a club until we broke up and one of my friends told me yeah yeah i saw him a lot at, the, at this club and he told me not to tell you i'm like and you call yourself a friend like whatever but but yeah if Tom cheated on me i would not look back i would not care i'm like get the fuck out of my life don't ever say hi to me you will never see Ame again. Yeah, and I would just not talk to him after that day. I don't know, I spent... It really depends, like, someone cheating on you can impact you in so many different ways depending on how long you've been dating that person. Like, for, let's say you've been dating this person for 3-4 years and you lived with them and they cheated on you, like, you can seriously ruin someone's life. Someone's confidence, you can hurt them emotionally to a different level that you never thought you could, like, hurt them. But let's say, like, I've been dating this guy for, like, two months. And we're, like, just, like, you know, still getting to know each other. And if he cheats on me, I'm, like, uh, I think I'll feel really insulted. Like, like, you literally just started dating me. Why are you cheating on me, you know? I don't think I will. Maybe I'll cry, but I don't think I'll cry about it more than, like, five minutes. <laughs> but that's also probably different. If I was younger, if you ask me now, I probably wouldn't cry over it. But back in college and high school, my life will be over. <laughs> it's all timing. If you are going through that, somebody cheated on you, don't look back. They did it once. They can do it again. And I don't think you deserve to be hurt twice. I used to hear so many stories on TV. This guy. Oh my god. There was um, this article. I think this is true. One dude got into a car accident or something. And he ended up in the hospital. And the doctor had to call somebody that he got into a car accident. He needs somebody to come, you know, come here and like sign stuff, or whatever. And I guess the doctor didn't know who to call because I guess everyone was like honey or like they were all different names. So he called everybody, and all these girls came and realized that this guy has been fucking like ten different girls or like there he was dating ten different girls. I heard this is a real story. It's I think it happened in Asia. I don't remember. But that guy obviously loved the thrill of it. And I heard that he was actually married to a couple of them. I don't even know. How can anyone with the right mindset do that? Right? Oh man, this strawberry is so good. Mm. But what would you do if you're out with your friends? 
you are at this like you are in the city and you know, like you see a lot of people walking around in the middle of the night and you spot your boyfriend holding hands with this girl and clearly there he is cheating on you. What would you do if you see him in public? How would you act different from you see him from like you know catching him at home? Well, what would you do? I know that some of you guys have a very strong personality and you guys will go crazy and you will beat the shit out of him. I know some, some of you guys are like that. By the way, you guys comment, I can tell. Tong and I are reaching fourth year this year. Fourth. Wow. Doesn't feel like four years though. Isn't that a good thing? Time flies. I don't think I'm gonna tr Oh my god, these are so hard. Like, these are like rock hard. I don't know if I wanna... I don't know what these are called, but they are seriously so amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's think about it the other way. What if you got caught cheating on your significant other? What would you do? You live alone and you have a boyfriend. And your boyfriend was supposed to be busy all day, all week. So you can't you guys can't see each other. So you decide to invite this other cute boy over and you guys bang bang. You guys have a fun night, eat good food, get drunk, whatever, and he ends up sleeping at your place. And you, got, you know, he ends up sleeping there. And the next morning, your boyfriend decides to come over to surprise you with 100 roses. And he walks in. You know, obviously, he has your keys. He walks in and sees you sleeping naked with the other boy. <laughs> and you guys make eye contact. What would you? Oh my god, what the heck would I do? I go wake up next to this other boy and I see Tom. With hundred roses, what would I do? I think I would start crying. <laughs> I would feel so bad. That was such a good question. At the same time, a very bad one because it never happened to me. So I don't know what what, what I would do. I think I would try to like try to chase him. I think any kind of boyfriend in that situation would just walk out. And probably not answer your phone calls until they're ready to talk about it. And the girls are more like, no, no, hold on, like, let's talk right now. This is completely off the topic, but Yesterday, I was watching Netflix, Netflix, and they have some weird shows, like weird documentaries. The first one we watched, Tong and I watched, was uh, Men in Masks. I don't know if anyone watched it. It's basically these guys, like older guys. They're completely normal people, like every one of us. But they have this weird hobby, or different hobby, should I say. They like to doll, doll up. Not like putting makeup on, like get a manicure, pedicure. They like to look like an actual doll. So they wear a mask. They wear this like a um, bodysuit that makes them look like, um, that give, they has boobs and like vagina and everything. Because 
they just like to doll up. It's not that they are look going. Like, these are all men. You know, it's not like they go out looking for another man. They just like to. It's their hobby. They just like to dress up like that. Isn't that weird? It's such a weird hobby. It's not that they go out like having meeting other guys. They just dress up and that's it. They just like the way they look and like the way they look. A lot of them said um, they had this ideal look that a girl should have or like what they were looking for because they couldn't have this ideal girl of their of them of theirs they decided to dress up like one so like one of them was they dressed up like they put a wig on and everything and they were just like looking in the mirror being like really amused and very impressed and all they do during the day is taking photos of them of themselves that's very different right so that was very interesting and the other documentary I, I watched was Escorts. So basically, this, these British girls um, living their lives as escorts. You know, selling their bodies. Or um, it can be as sexual as just kind of like in and out. Or it can just be like a spending a day um, just talking and coffee eating. So, oh, that's what they said. Like, you know, it's, this is not coming from me. It's coming from them. And... These girls make five to five to six thousand a week, but um, they were just saying how they how much they love money and they just want to be rich. So they just say, "I don't like to work hard, and this is a very easy money." It's like wow, like it's so brave of them to letting people film their lives and put it in, out in the world you know like okay like being an escort and prostitute is one thing but letting people film you like i don't know it takes really like you sh they must not give a damn about what other people think no that's how i should be i should not care about what other people think about me and the way i live right well, they, they so they are two different interesting things that I watched last night, and one like one thing I didn't know that Netflix Netflix would do this, but they didn't censor out their boobs. The one of the escorts, her boobs were like, like bam, and they didn't like censor it out. I don't, and she had like a nipple piercing and all. It's called escorts. If you just if you guys want to know, but um yeah, she didn't censor. They didn't censor it out. I don't know why not. You know, it's Netflix doesn't have age thing, I don't think, you know, but I don't know, it's pretty shocking. So, yep, there are very interesting people out there. And um, one other guy who dressed up as a, a doll, you know, who doll up, um, he never went out in public with it. And within the show, he decides to. He's like, okay, this is my first time going out in public. And he actually got a lot of... Um, positivity from the crowd like they're like you know what you do you you know if this makes you happy go for it you know you are beautiful this is you just enjoy life kind of thing so he was like i mean like good for him i think this happened in california very interesting there are some really different people out there i mean like i'm different you guys are different i don't know i just kind of want to mention it because it was a very different <laughs> it was very it was very entertaining to me i like those kind of stuff because i love Watching very, you know, different people out there. I'm not saying it's bad or good. I just want to share that because if you guys are bored this weekend, if you need something to watch, go on Netflix. There's so much fun things to watch. So I am done and I think I'll conclude the video here and the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Just let me know which video you like better. This one or the um, strawberry omelette dessert video. Uh, leave it in the comment box. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.